Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video, we're going to talk about the naming convention for identifiers in PineScript. Now, first of all, what are identifiers? Identifiers are the names used for user defined variables and functions. So while coding in PineScript, we have to certain times define variables, okay, and define functions that we can use later in the code. So the names of those variables and those functions are called identifiers. There are some naming conventions that you need to keep in mind while naming your function or identifier. And the first one is that they must begin with an uppercase or lowercase a to z letter. And also they can begin with an underscore. So here you can see that my variable is beginning with a small letter. Okay. And here you can see that max len this variable is beginning with this identifier name is beginning with m that is a capital m now one thing that you can notice from this line is that the names of the identifiers cannot begin with numbers okay the next character next to the first character the next character can be letters underscore or digits they can be anything and the variables are case sensitive so we're gonna talk about this line a bit later but let's talk about these two lines first so from here as i already said that the names of the variables cannot begin with the number as we can see here that this is three bars down an identifier whose name is beginning with the letter three or the number three so if i save this script this script is not going to be saved hey, let me just change this a little bit three bars and let me just save it so it's gonna give us an error the error is syntax error at input 3 which is here if I click on this line it's gonna take me this to this line so what is it, what it's saying is that the number cannot be put in the first place of the name of identifier so if I just move this number to somewhere in the middle okay or somewhere at the end the script will execute successfully and let me just put this and let me just plot the bars three bars three and now if I save the script and run this it's gonna be executed successfully without giving us any error so as you saw that we cannot use numbers as the first character of the identifier name now these two lines are clear the third line is their case sensitive now if I define a variable, let's say if I define my number and I assign this a value of 4 and then if I define another variable with my number and then also assign this a value of 5. So now these two variables, even though they sound same, but they are different because there is a difference of first letter. So they're case sensitive. If there's a difference of any letter in the variable names or identifier names, then those two identifiers are different identifiers. PineScript will treat them as different identifiers. Okay. Because if I plot this, if I plot my number, as you can see here, if I plot my number, let me just copy this. And if I plot this here, and if I do the same thing, let me just copy this and paste this here. And if I just change the M. Now, if I add this to chart, you'll be able to see that there will be two lines plotted. The first line is at 4, which is my number with a small M. Okay. And then the second line is at 5, which is my number with capital M. So these letters or these identifier names are case sensitive. Now in the end, there are different styling guides or there is a certain styling guide that PineScript provides. And it's always better to use this styling guide, okay? So what PineScript recommends is, PineScript recommends to use uppercase or snake case for constants and camel case for identifiers or functions, okay? So here you can see that this is a code color. 
or color of the code so now i'm saying that green color and this is a constant and this max local bar this is also a integer constant and so i have given these two a value of a green color and a hundred so these both are snake case or all the letters inside inside them are capital and they are separated by an underscore so this is a snake case case study and whenever we are naming identifiers let's say if we are naming fast length this is an identifier to which we are assigning a value of seven and let's say if we want to change this if we want to change this letter inside some condition or anything then PyScript recommends us to use camel case name or camel case style for identifier name so these are some conventions that you should keep in mind in while you're coding your program in PyScript. And in the next video, we're going to talk about the operators that are available in PyScript, which we can use inside our PyScript code. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And also don't forget to join our free Telegram group, which, to which I'll put the link in the description and also our free Facebook community in which you can post any questions that you have regarding PyScript. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.